वेलकम टू अवर् चानल सत्यास्कास्ट टूडे अवर टापिक इज ऐसमरीस इन दिस टापिक वी विल डिस्कस अबउट ऐसमरीस वाट इज द ऐसमरीस एंड क्लासीफिकेशन आफ ऐसमरीस एंड आफ द क्लास वी विल डिस्क अबउट सम ट्रिक्स हौ टू फैंड ऐसम वर्ड्स ओके सो कमिंग टू द पॉइंट वाट इज द ऐसमरीस ऐसमरीस मीन इट इज द फिनामिन वैन टू आर् मोर कांपौं poses the same molecular formula but different properties so what is the isomerism isomerism means the compounds two or more compounds shows or poses or have two or more compounds have the same molecular formula molecular formula of the compound is same but their properties are different what is the meaning what what type of properties that may be chemical properties that may be physical properties okay that may be chemical or physical properties okay when two or more compounds poses the molecular form poses the same molecular formula okay mf mf means molecular formula so molecular formula of the compound is same but they differ in their properties okay properties means chemical or physical properties are different properties okay so such type of compounds are called isomers that phenomena is called as isomerism okay is it clear isomerism means two or more compounds possess the same molecular formula but they differ in the properties that means the differing physical properties and chemical properties okay so for example if it the molecular formula of the compound is c2s6o c2s6o if this formula we can write alcohol and ether so c2s6o the number of carbon atoms are 2 1 2 so hydrogen are 6 here 3 here 2 5 1 with oxygen so this is alcohol and here uh, number of carbon atoms are 2 1 2 hydrogen atoms are 6 here 3 and here 3 6 one oxygen atom here see molecular formula of this both compounds alcohols and ethers are same okay so if we go uh, if we write a general formula of uh, this compounds generally we write cnh2 n+2 o this is the general formula for alcohol and ether see uh, n means number of carbon atoms okay uh, 2 and suppose here uh, number of carbon atoms are 2 so c2 h 2 into 2 plus 2 oxygen that means c2 2 into 2 4 plus 2 6 c2s6o okay for alcohol and ether the general formula is cnh2n plus 2o okay so molecular formula of this compound both compounds are same that is c2s6o so when we discuss uh, about the properties first we will see physical properties physical properties of alcohol sir the alcohols are generally liquids whereas ethers are gas okay so alcohols are liquids and ethers are gases that means physical properties of alcohol and ethers both are different okay so what is we, uh, what we say what we said in the uh, definition of isomerism isomerism means that may molecular formula is same but they differ in their properties see here property means physical property physical property is different see alcohols are liquid where has ethers are gases okay then we, we we discuss about the chemical properties for our suppose if alcohols are react with hydrogen iodide so alcohols forms iodo alkane see ch3 ch2 i how many moles only one mole if you see the reaction ch3 ch2 oh plus hi so oh hydrogen uh, removes as a h2o remaining things are ch3 ch2 i whereas in ether ch3 o ch3 plus hydrogen added there is uh the, um, so when i react with hydrogen iodide it forms two moles of iodo alkanes okay so this is the difference between the general property uh, physical properties sorry chemical properties of the alcohols and ethers when alcohols react with sodium it releases hydrogen gases 
but it is doesn't okay so why how these things we will discuss in detail in alcohols and ether topic okay that is, that will uh, comes in next topics okay so for uh, for this class you just remember that isomerism means molecular formula is same but properties that may be physical properties that may be chemical properties are different okay this is the definition of isomerism okay is it clear so what is the meaning of isomerism the compounds two or more compounds possess the same molecular formula but they differ in the properties are uh, two compounds having the same molecular formula but they have different physical chemical properties are known as isomerism and this phenomenon is known as isomerism is it clear then classification of isomerism okay so isomerism 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 are class uh, sorry isomerism is classified into two types first one is structural isomerism and then second one is stereoisomerism then what is the meaning of structural isomerism what is the meaning of stereoisomerism okay so structural isomerism means the compounds having the same molecular formula but the compounds have different structures okay structural isomerism means compounds have the same molecular formula but different structures are classified as structural isomerism okay these structural isomers are again classified into chain isomerism positional isomerism and functional group isomerism metamerism and tautomerism okay structural isomerism is again classified into five types chain isomerism position isomerism functional group isomerism metamerism and tautomerism okay so is it clear what is the term structural isomerism structural isomerism means compounds having the same molecular formula but different structural different structures okay that is called chain isomerism or uh, sorry structural isomerism okay but then what is the um, uh, what is the stereo isomerism okay so what is the stereo isomerism means these compounds differ in relative position of the atoms or groups in space are called stereo isomerism in simple way what we call spatial arrangement of group and or atoms are different those are called stereo isomers if two or more compounds are differ in their spatial arrangement of atoms or group are called stereo isomerisms okay is it clear this is stereo isomerism so isomerism is again classified into two types that is structural isomerism and second one is stereo isomerism stereo isomerism again classified into two types first one is conformation isomerism and second one is configuration isomerism again configuration isomerism is divided into two types geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism we will discuss in detail these in next videos okay for uh, today class we will discuss about chain isomerism what is the chain isomerism what is the position isomerism okay so we will discuss the remaining things in next class so first one of the see uh, sorry first thing chain isomerism okay what is the chain isomerism so isomerism is the compound should have same molecular formula but they differ in their properties that may be physical and chemical properties okay so for chain isomerism two or more compounds have the same molecular formula see here in every case we are saying molecular formula of the compound is same okay isomerism means molecular formula should be same okay but in chain isomerism carbon skeleton are different okay different carbon skeletons these are referred to as chain isomerism okay in simple way what we say the compounds with same molecular formula but different size of parent chain or different size of side chain are known as chain isomerism and the phenomena is known as chain isomerism is it clear that means parent chain size our side chain size is different in chain isomerism but the molecular formula of the compound is remains same okay for example if we take n butane okay example let's say sorry for example n butane so n butane what is the uh, formula 
N butane means this is but means four carbons, eight means saturated. That means alkane. Okay, how we write CH three, CH two, CH two, CH three. What we say for China isomerism? For China isomerism, molecular formula is same, but parent chain size or side chain size is different. So we will write a chain isomers say. Here four carbons are there. In next, we uh, write three carbons only. C H three, C H, C H three, C H three. This is N butane, and this is two. Uh, I put name write down the I put name one two three. In second position, methyl side chain is there. Our methyl substrate is there. So two methyl. How many carbons are there in parent chain? Three. So prop. It is a saturated compound, so A. Okay, this compound is two methyl propane. See here, parent chain size is here. How many carbons are there? Four carbons. One, two, three, four. Here four carbons are there. But in second compound, how many carbons are there in parent chain? Only three carbon atoms are there. That means parent chain size is different in these two compounds. So those type of isomers are called chain isomers. Okay, is it clear? Chain isomerism means two or more compounds have same molecular formula but different carbon skeletons. These are referred to as chain isomerism. That means size of the parent chain or side chain is different. Okay, and next we will see another example. Okay, suppose pentane. Pentane. Pent means how many carbons? Five. N means saturated compound. That means alkane. See. Five carbons C H three C H two C H two C H two C H three. See one two three four five. Parent chain contains five carbon atoms. Next compound, I am writing second carbon. See in this uh, time, I wrote only four carbon atoms in parent chain. Okay, C H three. See one two three four, and uh, I. Right, another compound also with this. Okay, if I change uh, this methyl group to third position, what will happen? Again, we will, you know, numbering starts right, left to right. So one two two means again two methyl propane. So what what I do? C H three in parent chain. I am taking only three carbon atoms. C C H three and C H three. Okay, so here parent chain contains three carbon atoms. We will check how many carbon atoms are there. Say one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And here one, two, three, four, five. Every three compounds are contain five carbon atoms. And count the number of hydrogen atoms. Three, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So formula, uh, the formula of pentane is C five H ten. See here, three, two, five, six, and uh, six, twelve. Sorry, C five H twelve formula. Okay, C three two five six seven ten twelve. Okay, so five carbon atoms, twelve hydrogen atoms, and see here three 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 three. How many threes? Four threes. Four into three twelve. So twelve hydrogen atoms. So number of molecular formula of this compound is same C five H twelve. But the structure of uh, compound is that means the parent chain size. Our side chain size is different. Say if you write the name of this compound, I put name. This is N pentane. For this compound, the name of this compound is two methyl butane. Okay, is it clear? Already we discussed I put nomenclature in previous videos. Okay, so for this compound. Say one two three second position two methyl groups are there so two comma two dimethyl how many carbon atoms are there three so prop a this compound name is two comma two dimethyl propane and simple general common names uh, if you want to write a common name for this compound this is called n pentane this is called iso pentane and this is called neo pentane this is also correct. Okay, so that means N iso neo are called chain isomers. Okay, N iso and neo are called chain isomers. Is it clear? So what is the chain isomerism and uh, how we identify? 
how we write the chain isomers okay so if you want to write chain isomer structures means you should write n isomers iso isomers neo isomers okay so those three are called chain isomers so what is the meaning of chain isomers the uh, the compounds have the same molecular formula two or more compounds have the same molecular formula but they differ in their size of parent chain or substituent chain or uh, that means side chain are called are known as chain isomers and the phenomena is known as chain isomerism okay is it clear next we will see what is the main, uh, what is the position isomerism so position isomerism means uh, position changing of position for what so for substrate or for multiple bonds or functional group so the position of uh, substrate atom or multiple bonds or functional group if differs so those are called position isomers so what is the meaning of position isomers when two or more compounds differ in the position of substrate atom or multiple bonds or functional group on the carbon skeleton they are called position isomers and this phenomena is called position isomerism okay is it clear that mean position of the functional group and position of the multiple bonds or position of the substrate is differ in these compounds okay for example we will see um, simple example so first we will take substrate for substrate example i am taking ch3 ch2 at least we should have four carbons are more than four carbons then only isomerism is possible already told to you okay for that i am taking pentane okay so this is pentane so but i want to show you uh, change in the substrate position see here uh, according to low, lowest locate rule substrate should get lower number so for that reason i am giving numbering from right to left so okay one two three four five here position of the substrate is second position and uh, i want to write another uh, compound say ch ch3 ch2 ch3 see one two three here two methyl pentane but here the name of this compound is three methyl pentane if we give numbering from left to right see one two three again it is a third position okay that means left to right and right to left the name of this compound is same if we want to write again one more compound with this formula see uh, uh, if you want to change the position of this methyl group it comes here that means if numbering starts from left to right the position um, of this substance should be second that means again its name is 2 methyl pentane that means with this uh, formula molecular formula we can write only two position isomers okay this is the uh, see here the molecular formula of this compound is same but the substrate methyl position is different here it is located at second position but here it is at third position okay these type of isomers are called position isomers the phenomena is position isomerism and we will see one functional group example okay so functional group means we will take a simple example methyl group okay sorry functional group halogen group ch3 ch2 ch2 i told you already at least four or more than four carbons see bromine numbering one two three four five see four bromo pentane if you want to change the position of this uh, bromine here there should be 3 bromo ch3 ch2 ch br ch2 ch3 naming of this compound is 3 bromo pentane okay is it clear so if we if we want to move this bromine here to this the numbering should be second position so that means with this formula we can write only two position isomers is it clear and uh, if you want to see another example with multiple bonds ch3 ch2 ch double bond ch2 this is one beauty 
for this position isomerism we should change the position of this multiple bonds say 1 2 3 4 the position of multiple bond between 1 and 2 if you want to change this one 2 2 3 means how we can write ch double bond ch ch3 okay is it clear 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 okay valency should be satisfied okay valency ni purti cheyali okay this name, uh, name of this compound is tubetin. Why? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Second position of double bond. You see, position of double bond is changed. That's why we call these are position isomers. Okay. Is it clear? What is the position isomer? For if the two or more compounds have uh, same molecular formula, but they differ in the position of the substrate group, uh, the functional group or multiple bonds. Those are called positional isomers. So, if we, um, the trick for these compounds, how to remember these things? Actually, uh, in simple way, isomerism means molecular formula is same. For chain isomerism, parent chain size or side chain is differs, okay, or different. For positional isomerism, parent chain size or side chain size is same, but position of the functional group, multiple bonds or substrate should be differ, okay. This is the short table. You should remember these uh, things. So, if you remember these things, it's very easy to write uh, possible isomer structures in easy way. Okay. So, I think you all understand that what is the concept. Okay. So, what is the isomerism? See here, four or more than four carbon containing compounds express isomerism. If a compound uh, one, uh, if a compound excludes isomerism, means it should contain more than four or four compound. At least four carbon atom it should have. So that means methane, ethane, propane have no isomers. Okay, for these compound no isomers. Number of possible isomers for this methane, ethane, propane always one. Okay, is it clear? Number of possible isomers for methane, ethane, propane are always one. Why? If a compound exhibits isomerism mean they should contain 4 or more than carbon atom. Meet eat probe means those are number of carbon atoms are less than 4 only. That's why it doesn't show any isomerism. Therefore, it have possible isomers of num 1 only. Okay. And then, so uh, here we learn a table how to calculate uh, number of possible isomers for C4 to C10 alkanes. Okay. So, here butane, uh, C4 means butane, C5 means pentane, hexane means SX. Okay, for C1 to C7 are cancer. A small correction, anyway, C1 to C3, possible isomers are always one only. Okay, why? Because number of carbon atoms are less than 4. Okay, so from C4 to C7, we can use this formula 2 power n minus 4 plus 1. So, where n is number of carbon atoms, suppose alkanes, butane means C4H10. So, for this, if you want to find the possible isomers, uh, you should apply the formula 2 power n minus 4 plus 1. So, that is equal to 2 power 4 minus 4 plus 1, 2 power 0 plus 1, 2 power 0 means, that means 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, for butane, possible isomers, how many? 4, 2 only, okay. For pentane, C5, H2, see, 2 power N minus 4 plus 1. So, 2, N means number of carbon atoms, 5 minus 4 plus 1. 5 minus 4 means 1, okay, plus 1. 2 power 1 means 2, plus 1 is equal to 3. So, for pentane, possible isomers are 3. In the same way, you can find number of possible isomers for hexane, okay. Hexane means C6, H14. So, 2 power 6 minus 4 plus 1. That means 2 power 2 plus 1. That is equal to 2 power 2 means 4. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, for hexane, possible isomers are 5. For heptane, C7, H16. So, possible isomer 2 power 7 minus 4 plus 1. That is equal to uh, 2, two, minus, uh, 2 power 7 minus 4 means 2 power 3 plus 1. That means 8 plus 1, that is it, 9. So, for heptane, possible isomers are 9. Okay. Is it clear? So, in exam, any competition exam, if you want to find a possible isomers for butane, pentane, X and heptane, you should remember this formula. What is that formula? 2 power n minus 4 plus 1. For octane, 
for obtain we use the formula 2 n minus 4 plus 2 so where n is number of carbon atoms obtain means number of carbon atoms are 8 that means 2 power 8 minus 4 plus 2 8 minus 4 means 2 power 4 uh, plus 2 2 power 4 means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 I know this is very easy for you okay 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 8 into 2 uh, sorry 4 8 16 16 plus 2 18 for often possible isomers are 18 so if any mathematical calculation is done you should do okay you, sh you should recollect those things okay I think it's a correct only for the known end so 2 power 9 minus 4 plus 3 that means 2 power 5 plus 3 so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 4 8 16 32 32 plus 3 is equal to 35 okay for known end possible isomers are 35 for decane decane we will apply another formula okay see here 2 power n minus 4 plus 1 plus n so decane means 10 carbon atoms 2 power 10 minus 4 plus 1 plus number of carbon atoms that is equal 2 power 6 plus 1 plus 10 2 power 6 means um, here into 2 4 8 16 32 64 64 plus 1 65 65 plus 10 75 for decade possible isomers are 75 is it clear so no need to remember for uh, decade possible isomers are 75 for non end possible isomers are 35 like that so it's simple uh, you just remember this formula it is very easy to you okay so uh, this is uh, all about uh, isomerism, chain isomerism and position isomerism. Okay. If we take a simple uh, table, tabular formula for this uh, possible isomer, say here. Number of carbon atoms 1. That means uh, methane, ethane, propane. Possible isomers are 1 only. For butane, possible isomers are 2. For pentane, possible isomers are 3. For hexane, 5. Heptane, 9. Octane 18, non in 35, decade 75. At least you should remember this number also. If you think it is difficult to remember these numbers, you should remember these formulas which you which we tried uh, previously. Okay. So this is about isomerism. Okay. I hope you understand. You got it. Everything. Okay. If you have any doubt, you can contact me through Gmail or Facebook. Okay. Thanks for watching our videos. Please subscribe, share our videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.